Oh, buying cryptocurrency has never been easy, especially for some cryptocurrency exchanges that only allows specific payment methods. Yes, you may find that uh, you really want to buy some type of cryptocurrency. Let's say you want to buy a cryptocurrency like Shiba Inu, a cryptocurrency that is sadly on uh, most of the wallet exchanges. You want to buy it, but you find that your cryptocurrency wallet exchange that not support that particular kind of transaction. You may find that you may not find it easy to access that particular cryptocurrency. You may even want to get it from another person and that is one of the ways through which you can be scammed. So with this particular kind of a platform, this is a third party service provider that can enable you buy any kind of cryptocurrency for any kind of cryptocurrency exchange at a very lower at a very lower rate so before we continue my name is nicola this is my channel i normally deal with investment and business insights i also touch on areas revolving around finance and personal financial management i bring to you any money making opportunity that arises outside there any opportunity that arises in the industry so please subscribe to my channel with the whole video comment like and share with your friends without wasting much time i'm going to show you i'm going to do it practically how you can just make your first purchase of the cryptocurrency that you want but specifically in this case i'm going to use a binance exchange bitcoin wallet address from binance exchange so let us get started you can see this is a simplex a simplex is a cryptocurrency third party service provider it enables majority of cryptocurrency exchanges like trust wallet like poloniex like binance like kucoin kraken a good number of cryptocurrency exchanges to buy and sell majority of cryptocurrencies so let's say that uh, and just before I forget, it is not a matter that you have a registered account with this particular platform. Without having any account, you can just Google Simplex Crypto. You can see it up there. It is written Simplex, but make sure you add the word crypto. So just Google Simplex Crypto. Then you will be directed on how to sign in. You will not sign in, but you will be directed to the first window which you can see then the next step is now to click on this three dash those three bars then you can just decide on what you want to do the simplex banking this buying crypto selling crypto and then there is partner part of this also careers if you also want to learn more about this particular third party service provider you can just move to about option and get more information about it but today we just want to purchase we want to purchase a, a crypto so we are going to purchase crypto yes we just purchased crypto as we wait for it to continue to complete redirection so that we see what happens let us be di redirected to where we are supposed to go. And you can see I'm just going to confirm that I am not a robot. Mm -hmm. Then just wait for the payment window to open. Not just payment window. Now you can see the window that has opened. When you look at this window, you can just enter the amount of cryptocurrency maybe in fiat in form of fiat or in form of a digital currency let's say you want uh, to buy bitcoin worth uh, 400 let us choose a uh, let us choose something that can be that can be understood let's choose usd yeah that is the currency we are using now let us say that uh, we want to buy cryptocurrency worth 500 United States dollars five hundred and sixty six that is what we are going to get 
and then we are just going to paste the bitcoin address so make sure that before you get to this point you had already copied your bitcoin address so that when you come here you are just going to paste it so i'm going to paste the bitcoin wallet address that i had copied from my binance exchange then i'm just going to click continue in order to be redirected to another window now when you leave this particular window the next window you are being redirected to is a payment window that is where you are going to make your payment so let us see and now when you look at this window for simplex we for simplex for the time being we only have two main types of payments methods we either have credit card or debit card debit card is normally called atm card but you can use it to do a lot of things credit card so let's say that you have a credit card or a debit card for my case let's say i have a debit card you are just going to it the debit card can be either mastercard or visa card in this case so you are just going to feed in your card number but just for the sake of security let me just choose random numbers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then after that you are going to key in the expiry date let's say that my card is, is expiring on the third month of the year that is March and maybe it is expiring in the year 2023 once I'm done with that I'm just going to key in the name on that particular card so let's say my, my first name is Nick colors then my last name is Edua. then the last part i'm going to enter the security code this security code is normally found at the back of your debit card it is a three digit code that you just enter let's say for my case my security code is two five two nine remember that whatever i'm keying in here are not the real values because it is very easy for someone just to come and steal your details then you use your card when you are not aware so make sure that whenever you are using your debit card to make this particular payment no one is looking at whatever you are keying in the only thing that people need to get access to your account through this particular debit card is just the card number and the security code so you have to be very very careful so once i do everything i'm just going to confirm that i have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and privacy policy so i'm just going to do that then move to next Uh, and please take note that it might not go through because whatever the information I have keyed in for the card are not correct but uh, this is the procedure of doing it yes you just need to know that it is not a must to have a simplex account but if you want to have the simplex account it is also possible you can just sign up and have the simplex account yes so that is it suppose i had keyed in the right the correct uh, card details i will just move to next then uh, confirm the payment once i confirm the payment and uh, the third, this third party service provider confirms the payment they are just going to release the bitcoin the amount of bitcoin that uh, i have ordered directly into my wallet address